All right, so we got 30 secrets in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Let's go to the video. Tears of the Kingdom is finally here with countless secrets. This video is by Top 5 Gaming. My favorites is this love letter to Breath of the Wild fans. A few years have passed since the first game, with the Temple of Time now located in the sky. Because of this, the original is abandoned, right. which is pretty sad considering we made a lot of memories here, like getting the paraglider. But what yeah. exactly happens if you go to this location in Tears of the Kingdom? Well, the devs left a chest that pays tribute to the paraglider with a fitting reward nostalgic fabric. A location Aww. even more as Gerudo Town That's cute. because all the citizens are hiding in an underground shelter. As expected, you aren't allowed here because Link is male, but if you sneak in through the well, the area is unlocked. Although this doesn't mean you can do whatever you yep. want, though. Get him out of here. Go in here with no clothes, they'll kick you out. Totally yep. fair, you gotta have some decency, but what if you're a sicko who really <laughs> wants to get naked? Well, if you sneak in and then take your clothes off, you'll be permanently thrown in jail, and the best part, they won't let you out until you put them back Bruh. on. And if you for some what? reason decide they got to the thickies in there though thickies the you come across will actually notice horror will ask you where your clothes are and other npcs will comment things like just wearing that today but everyone hey man let link rock it, bro you still can't pet the dog in tears of the kingdom i mean you definitely should be able to but people are already finding ways to do it with machines there is definitely hand content made here we have done it if you're not smart enough to do that, don't worry, because the dog actually has another use. If you drop him food, he'll eat it and grow closer to you, and if you do this enough times, he'll suddenly walk away. But whatever you do, make sure to follow him, because he'll lead you straight to a rare chest that doesn't spawn unless the dog brings you. Oh, that's Kitchen, nice. You have to visit his Hyrule Castle. In Breath of the Wild, of course. the room is where you fought Calamity Ganon, so most people will think it's off limits. Instead of coming here at the end of the game, you can now visit it immediately and make sure to light these fires because it'll open up a secret tomb inside you'll find a chest and it grants you the upgraded champions tuna yes There's sir everyone was hoping for it's references to older games and tears of the kingdom is chock full of them in hatino village you can buy bottles of milk and if you look closely you'll realize the design is from lawn lawn ranch a location in ocarina of time sadly when oh, you visit the ranch in game sick. there's only ruins but luckily stables have survived and if you go to one of these you'll find an amazing feature they actually transfer your old save file from breath of the wild and all the horses you owned are now here which is way better than that's fire new ones. that's fire Zelda's greatest rules is that you don't mess with chickens it's basically tradition at this point and tears <laughs> stomp them does not forget if you attack the chickens they'll drop eggs but if you keep swinging you'll have to face the horde get over here yeah they own you yeah they own you yeah Link, you cannot run. It'll save your life, and it has to do with the NPCs riding carts. They usually just drive around, but if you sit on the wagon, they'll occasionally be attacked by enemies. If you kill the threat, the NPC will give you fully cooked meals every single time, and in just a couple minutes, you can get dozens of free meals. Yes, While sir. With the new Ultra Hand mechanic, I bet you didn't know that the name is secretly a reference. Way back in the 1960s, Nintendo made toys instead of video games, and one of these was a grabber called Ultra Hand. And that's not even the most loved ability because people are going crazy over ascend and it's completely changed the way we play Zelda. it is it's literally it's really one of the best features in the game never even meant to exist it was originally what? a debug setting the developers used while testing but they had so much fun with it they decided to keep it as a feature that's but literally cracked a super hidden reference that i haven't seen anyone talk about in hateno village you can go to link's old house and find a picture of this woman on the wall she was actually in breath of the wild and if you stepped on her garden she would go crazy fans were so intimidated by her that they nicknamed her flower blight ganon and now she's immortalized in this house forever and while we're on the topic of that Link's nuisance house, you can also read zelda's diary which implies they've been living together for a few years now she spent that time building a school in the village and secretly working from a well you can actually find this behind the house and there's kids drawings along with Link's blue hair tie from breath of the wild Aww. for some reason you preferred his hairstyle in that game this lets you revert it but i'm not the biggest fan Although, i mean i like it it's pretty cool closely the next time you you build something when a fan gets activated it'll sound like this okay like an Some actual fan this was really familiar so they dug deeper and this led them to sonic adventure 
There's also another secret Nintendo doesn't tell you about, and it involves the new Ultra Hand ability. Most of us spend forever trying to rotate things, and it can get seriously annoying, but the stress can be solved with just one button. Simply use ZL when holding something, and it'll flatten itself instantly, and I have no idea why they don't tell us stuff like this. Thanks. If you have a Link's Awakening Amiibo, make sure to scan it, because you have a chance of getting this armor set, transforming Link into the remake version. That? It's easily one of the best masks in the game, and you can also find this in the depths if you don't have the Amiibo. And one of my favorite details is in Zora's Domain, which has changed a ton since the last game, but one of the best parts is the main square. Okay. Before it had a statue of Mifa, she was a Zora champion, but now it's entirely covered in sludge. Once you clean it off with a splash fruit, you'll find a new statue, and this time it's of Link and Sidon instead. Speaking of champions, wow. there's that follow you around later in the game, which is incredibly useful. But if you wear the right Divine Beast mask, they'll actually notice and put one on too. It has to be their region Aww. Otherwise, Zelda is so adorable. The, 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 the game Zelda is so adorable, man. Anyone who goes to the Shrine of Resurrection will find it completely overgrown. This is the very first location in Breath of the Wild, and now it's just a cave, but don't let that fool you. If you decide to relax in these hot springs, they'll actually heal you up for free. And that's just one that's actually pretty fire. I didn't know that. Know about, like the Choo Choo Jelly secret trick. It's a huge hassle to transport your builds, untether, and then activate them, but you can actually do this with a single arrow thanks to Choo Choo Jelly. Use it as a connection point between your builds so destroying it activates and untethers at look at that century gun look at that cheese right there bro inventory there's an overwhelming urge to sell it but rubies are hard to come by so trust me you need to keep a hold of at least one fusing it with a shield will increase your body temperature as long as you wear it and this is so useful in the early really game. and if fusing isn't your thing there's actually a way to undo it but it comes at a price uh -oh. you need to head to Terrytown, and here you can pay an npc to unfuse weapons now keep in mind they don't get repaired so if you your favorite items blinking red this isn't really gonna fix it and if you've been playing since day one you've probably heard link humming to himself while cooking he quietly sings classic songs like the main theme zelda's lullaby and even lon lon yes red, sir super adorable and if you were to ask yeah. them, the most annoying part has been, a majority of them will say the rain. Breath of the Wild always started raining <laughs> at the worst possible times. True. I know you guys remember sliding down the mountains. Yeah. But now in Tears of the Kingdom, Come this on, still happens, man. but you can actually stop it with the sticky lizard potion. And if you were looking for a more permanent solution, make sure to do the newspaper quest, because this will give you a frog outfit that clings to wet surfaces. What? The side of a mountain, we've all had that question at the back of our mind. Should I jump and use a ton of stamina? How could nobody tell? Me this. Well, it turns out you should always climb because Link goes further on the same amount of stamina. It just takes a tad bit longer. Oh, Another useful tip okay. is to stop Joy-Con drift, an issue that has ruined Zelda playthroughs for years. If you're worried about getting drift, then flicking the stick to untether things is a horrible idea. Yeah, yeah, you it's can horrible. Ignore the controls on screen and just shake the controller instead, and it'll give you the exact same effect. And if you were wondering what happens when you finally talk to the construction company, it's yeah. totally worth it. They have an NPC called Gray who sells rooms and you can buy these pre-made builds to make your own house that's fire Finally, we can live the way that's Link fire deserves, and it gets better because you can display photos on the walls that's yeah, fire i like that that's fire of yourself taking a photo of yourself if you want that's there fire so much customization in game and this extends to your paraglider as well in breath of the wild you were stuck with the same design but now you can collect fabrics around the map and take them to the dice i never really had i, I just like the design i never really had a but it works on paragliders now wait a minute you can get exclusive design through amiibos okay wait a minute it's a mirror of twilight that comes with wolf link lon lon ranch for young link and the goddess fabric for skyward sword zelda there's also way more that you can earn i can't that's fire right now if you want to double check your amiibo collection and while you're exploring that's you fire bro serenade to a great fairy side quest which is hiding a secret reference you have to take maestro and violin to the great fairy and after she oh, honorable mention he makes this sound Yahoo! <laughs> now some people think this is a Mario reference, but I don't know if I'm into Mario. Convinced. But the Zelda universe could be expanding even further thanks to the success of the Mario movie. Yes, now, sir. Emma, the producer of Tears of the Kingdom has said he's interested in making a Zelda movie if the fans are loud enough. And I can only imagine. Oh uh, yes. Movie, so I'm hoping. Boy, it you better you yes. Secrets and Tears of the Kingdom. It's been Sammy. Keep it here on T5G. Bro, imagine a Zelda movie. And then you say, oh, well, if the Zelda fans make a, make enough noise, yes, yes, no, huh? You, you, yes, the, the, huh? The Zelda fan base is, is insane. Yes, you should. 
If you think the Mario movie did something, imagine what a Zelda... Brother, you dropped a Zelda game this year, and then you drop a Zelda movie this year? That would be absolutely fire. Two birds, one stone. Other than that, comment down, uh, comment down below. It just, bro, it just, he was like, oh, the fans are loud enough. No, the fans are loud enough. The fans come through every time. They come through every single time. Yes, they're going to be loud enough. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys subscribe to, subscribe to the channel, like the video. I can't even talk after that. That's crazy. Imagine a Zelda movie, brother. Who would like, who would voice act like Link? Who would voice act Link? And who would voice act like Zelda? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Who's the, who would voice? <laughs> I was about to say Kevin Hart. <laughs> okay. I'm going to see y'all later for the next one. I'm out. And 